Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. So I decided to try out this new format. Um, we're gonna do a bit of studio vlogging, I suppose. Yeah, so a few months ago I mentioned a project that I want to make. It is a rose quartz inspired tale. So today I thought I'd show you guys my update on the project. I started making all the samples and all that kind of stuff. So yeah, I'm just gonna take you guys along with me and we're gonna make 3000 scales together. So I got like almost five kilograms of epoxy resin and um, that's not gonna be nearly enough for the whole tail but I thought you know I'm gonna have to start with something so um, I'm gonna have to make a lot a lot of molds. Here you can see me make polymer clay mermaid scales using a mold I made some time ago. Then I baked them according to the instructions and glazed them with UV resin. Time to make some molds. For mold making, I go with the cheapest all-purpose silicone since I'm going to need a lot of them. Mix in some acrylic paint to make it cure faster and so the scales don't get stuck in the silicone. Used some dish soap and water mix to prep the tray and applied the silicone using my trusty knife. Here you can see me applying some dish soap and water mix on top of the silicone to smooth it out and it will act as a mold release as well. Of course, wear protective gear while working with silicone and work in a well-ventilated area. Same with resin. I applied some leftover silicone to the holes in the scales before pressing them into the sheet of silicone. After a few hours, the molds were ready. I wiped the mold with some wet wipes and then washed it with soap and warm water Another way of cleaning molds is with sticky tape. It removes dust and any other resin pieces. I ordered my resin on Amazon from Germany and it's so good so far and almost completely odorless. In fact, it was so good I got worried I was losing my sense of smell. I measured two parts of part A and one part of part B and started mixing slowly. I separated the resin into two cups and added my Arteza mica powders. I made white lines in the molds before adding pink resin to make it look like a marble. Don't think it made a big difference though. Mm -hmm. 
I really like this color. The next day, it was time to unmold. Here's me trimming the edges using some nail clippers. And then I drilled. I know some of my molds have the sticking out bits, but they're not tall enough to make a hole in the scale. It's more of a marking to tell me where to drill. I'm using my nail drill for this. I like to play around and plan things, so here's a rough pattern I made. That was before all the filing etc, so they don't match very well yet, but it's a nice preview of what the tail could look like. I glazed the scales with UV resin to make them extra shiny. While working on my scales, I got a new order in my Etsy shop, so I took care of that. The person ordered two ginger aerial ornaments and one plain gingerbread mermaid, but I thought I'd give them a free lucky mermaid scale too. Where I come from, fish scales are considered lucky and are supposed to bring fortune. So I wrote that on the back. Hopefully they like it. I wrapped each ornament in tissue paper and added some bubble wrap later. I usually use these holographic mailers for my orders, but they can fit two mermaids maximum, so I use this box instead. And in case you didn't know, I have an Etsy shop where I sell these Mahina inspired pins and I recently added these gingerbread mermaid Christmas clay ornaments. That's a mouthful. They can be customized to match your Mersona colors as well, so they can look like you. Feel free to check out my shop below to get your orders in time for Christmas and support my little business. And here's a ton of dust from drilling and filing. 168 scales done so far. Anyway, thank you for watching. And if you made it to this part of the video, give yourself a pat on the back. I'm hoping to share some concept art in my next video and maybe make a scale and fabric sample or something, since the process of making the scales is very repetitive and I don't think you'll want to watch it every week. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you soon. Bye!